Oh, Henry had been at one time or another druggist, cowboy, bookkeeper, reporter, editor. To O. Henry, no one was too good to slip or too bad to climb. Consider the ransom of Red Chief. It happens in rural Alabama in the early 1900s. six miles to our destination, just about the right distance away. Let's take a look over this way. like a likely spot not to me William this is a perfect hideaway look a cave running water all the comforts of home hmm. I don't like any place that hasn't got a door on it a nice quiet spot to spend a few days and nights slick have you ever slept out of doors William don't tell me you're afraid of the country Slick, there's nothing I'm not afraid of especially the country why every time I see a what's that what is it? William, don't act like a child. It's nothing but a squirrel or a cat of some sort. Well, do something. Get rid of it. Hurry up. Go away, pussy. Go away, nice pussy. Go away, pussy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You see? It's nothing if you're not afraid. But I am. Never let an animal know that you're afraid. It's no use. They, they seem to sense it somehow. Well, come on. Let's unload the provisions and get into town. You know, Slick, I think we should give up the whole scheme. It worries me. Why? Kidnapping. It's against the law. You can't go around throwing sacks over strangers' heads. You weren't worried about the law when we sold that oil stock up there in Peoria. Oh, that was different. They were old friends of ours. Why, we knew them intimately. Besides, there's something impersonal about an oil well. I wouldn't even know one if I saw it. An oil well is a hole in the ground surrounded by suckers. Mm. I still think kidnapping's no way to raise money. Well, that gets down to a matter of opinion. Which one of us is the smarter? How many times have you been in jail, William? Six times. I have only been incarcerated twice. So the answer is obvious. I don't like it. It involves children. William, we need money. We have all that little Bonanza gold mine stock you had printed, and we can't sell it without a nugget. Now, Joe Collins has a nugget that's as big as a cobblestone. We've got to raise enough money to buy that nugget. Will he trust you? Not again. You insist that kidnapping is the only solution. William, for a quick, safe return on your investment, you simply cannot be kidnapping. I regard it as even a sounder proposition than swindling widows and orphans. And that is particularly true down here in this Peruna and Chitlins country. For the natives down here share one outstanding weakness. They love their children. It's too risky. Suppose you kidnap an orphan. Who pays to get them back? William, don't be so pessimistic. You know anything about children? Only one thing. Children have to do what grown-ups tell them to do, because we're bigger than they are. I don't like it. William, we're procrastinating. Now, let's finish unloading this stuff and get into town and find our victim. <laughs> Hey, we'd like to get a little water for our car. Why, sure. And some uh, information, please. Uh, Pete will get you the water. What do you want to know, mister? Say, mighty nice country you got around here. Sure is pretty. Is it? Say, if a person wanted to buy some of this land, who'd he have to see? Well, why'd he want to buy the land first? What do you want to raise? Well, it ain't good for much. You want bottom land or uh, hill country? Uh, which is better? Well, it uh, depends upon what you want it for. Bottom land. 
Reckon Ed Dorset could fix you up. Yeah, he's foreclosed on about as much land as anybody else. Yeah. Why do he want to buy the land first? Eb Dorset. Which Dorset is that? Well, there ain't only one Dorset, and that's Eb. Yeah, he married the Yarborough girl. Why'd he want to buy the land first? Married the Yarborough girl. Say, I seem to remember that. Uh, was that union blessed with any issue? Uh, what did you say? Have they got any children? Well, uh, you know, those little objects people get after they're married. Yeah. Well, I reckon you could say they have, in a way. Yeah. Uh... May I ask what you mean by that foggy response? Well, I reckon you could call J.B. a child, if you wanted to. J.B.? J.B., that's what they call him. Oh, it's a boy. I reckon you might uh, call him a boy. Yeah. How old is he? J.B.'s nine under ten now. What a lovable age in a boy. Where did you say the Dorsets were living now? Didn't say. Uh, down the road a piece, a little white house with broken windows. You ain't told us why did he want to buy the land first. You know, I find your conversation rather limited, but very stimulating. Thank you. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Thanks a lot, fellas. Hope to see more of you later. See you later. Thanks, son. Kelly well, May, you better lock yourself up in your room until them Yankees get out of town. Uh -huh. What did he say that place was? A little white house with broken windows. Oh, yeah. Dinner ready? Unless you want to wait for JB. He's late again. When did he go out? Nightfall last. I'll be getting hungry by now. I'd better set a place for him. Yeah, he's coming now. Ebenezer? Two men just drove up in a motor car. They did? Now they're putting a sack over J.B.'s head. No. Now they're toting him away. They must be strangers. More than likely. J.B.? Now, uh, J.B., if we untie her, will you promise to behave yourself and not run away? Did you hear me? I said, did you hear me? Are you frightened? Hmm. Well, all right, if you want to stay tied up. Now, listen, J.B., you are in the hands of two desperate men, and you must behave yourself. Is that right, William? Yeah, you better behave yourself. Yes, you've got... Put that knife away. Put it away. William, take that knife away from J.B. I'd rather you did it. J.B., William and I have decided you may keep the knife. Does that make you happy? I don't like you. What'd you say? I said I don't like you. J.B., you mustn't be afraid of us. We're your friends. Now, I'm going back downtown and leave a ransom note in your father's mailbox. And if he pays the little sum we're asking for you, you will be returned home immediately, safe and sound. Do you understand? Excuse us a minute, J.B. How much are you going to ask for? I intended opening up with a bid of 2000 2000 
I think you're overestimating this kid's charm. The trouble with you, William, is you don't understand human nature. The blacker the sheep, the quicker they bail them out. And if I'm any judge of black sheep, we have come up with a collector's item. Anybody who pay $2,000 for him is out of his mind. I heard what you said. I don't like you, but you're not dumb. Thank you, J.B., thank you. You know slick money isn't everything. I'm convinced 2000 is too much. Perhaps you're right, William. I'll cut it to 1500 I'd better get along. I'll drop a note in the Dorset mailbox the minute it gets dark. How long will you be gone? Good heavens, William. Don't tell me you're afraid to stay here with this child. Slick, why don't you stay and let William go? Very no, practical no, no. idea. It's, it's too late, J.B. Our plans are all made. Don't you think it'd be better if we tied him up again and we'll both go? Look, you just build a fire, give J.B. something to eat, and make friends with him. Make friends with him? Just hurry back. Man's putting something in the mailbox. Thought he would. You want I should go out and fetch it? Never mind. Morning soon enough. note has been delivered, there's nothing to do but await results. How have you and J.B. been getting along? Slick, stay where you are. Don't make any sudden moves. What's the trouble, William? If the light were better, you could see that in his left hand, J.B.'s holding my good watch, and in his right hand, a large rock capable of enormous destruction. Please don't do anything rash. Now, J.B., is that any way to act? I ask you. It won't do any good to talk. Yes, J.B., How did he get the watch? We were having dinner and suddenly put a red-hot boiled potato down my back and mashed it with his foot. Why? He had a slight difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to call him Red Chief. Red Chief? Yeah, he wanted to play Indian, and I didn't want to. Well, I see no reason why you couldn't oblige the little fellow, William. Except that he wanted to scalp me. Surely, J.B., there must be another way to play Indian. Red Chief got a ride back to reservation. Warn his people, pale face is coming. Red Chief need horse. Oh, no. Not that. If William is your horse, will you give him his watch back? After pale face horse. I won't do it. I refuse. I'll speak to an Indian, J.B. I'll weigh Uye are the Orse, I A L way Abgre the Archway. Etke the Eifne Ute. What pale face say? William will be your horse, J.B. All right, William. Slick! Stay there. Horse, right there. How far is it to the reservation? Ten miles to the reservation. Maybe there's a shortcut. Oh! 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 oh. Keep quiet. Keep no quiet. Fair. Keep still. Keep still. No fair. Now stay over there. There you are, William. I got his knife, too. No reason to let a child get the best of you. That's true only in theory. Now, J.B., we'll have no more of this nonsense. Pale face lie. Fool, Red Chief. Red Chief never forget. Something tells me our triumph is only temporary. Pale face not dumb. Thank you, J.B. Don't you think we ought to tie the kid up before we go to bed? William, I've got his knife. We've hidden every other dangerous weapon around the camp. What is there to worry about? Do you remember what he said before he went to sleep? Yes, nothing. I heard what he said. Do you remember? Yeah. What was it? He said, pale face, make him prayer, great white father. Tell him goodbye. And what else did he say? Red chief, never forget. And you say there's nothing to worry about? 
William, if you persist in this attitude, you'll have me worried. There's enough worry for both of us. Come, William, let's get a good night's sleep. forget William. I can't run for us, Slick. We're going up a tree, William. Can bears climb trees? Here he comes. We'll soon find out. William, I think it's a cinnamon bear. I don't care what flavor he is. He's more apt to taste me. Yes, get him out of here. Get him out of here. What way did he give me? You can have your knife back, J.B. How about you watch, William? Sure, gladly. You can have the chain, too. Slick, I'll take your watch, too. Yes, J.B. Coming up right away. Just get him away. And will both of you play Indian with me? Any, anything you say, J.B. Anything. Just get him away. All right. Go on, get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Oh, yeah. Go on, get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Get done. Go on, Go on, get out of here. Looking forward to it with great pleasure, J.B. William, Shh, William, you don't have to war hoop anymore. He's been asleep for the last five minutes. Just don't wake him up. Select, this has been the worst night of my life. I don't think I can take any more. William, you should be ashamed of yourself, letting a little child break your spirit. That's enough, what? Slick. I'll take it from him, but not from you. Well, you're just as frightened as I am. Me frightened? Yes, you. 
He said he'd burn you at the stake at sunrise, and you're afraid to do it. And what's more, he would, too. And if I hear you mutter one more of those platitudes, shh, 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 William, you're right. I am afraid. That's better. If I could only hold out till his father delivers the money. If he does. William, that may be quite a while. What do you mean, quite a while? I told him in the note to bring the money at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Oh, no, well, no. I just wanted to give him time to get it. What time is it now? Shall I wake J.B. up and ask him? What on earth is the matter with you? That's a silly question. Where's J.B.? Probably out digging worms for our supper. What happened to your eye? He did it with a slingshot and a boulder as big as that derby of yours. I suggest you put the water on your eye, not the... Uh... While I was dazed, he pushed me and I sat in the campfire. This is the only place where I feel comfortable. William, what I have to tell you isn't going to make you feel any better. Don't tell me you didn't get the money. Here, help me out. No, William. I didn't get the money. Slick. Forget the 1500 Take a 1000 500 you can take it out of my share. Look what he did to me. Yes, I see what you mean. But wait till you hear this. This is from J.B.'s father. It says, gentlemen, that's us. My heart goes out to you. As a token of my sympathy, I hereby offer you a counter proposition. For $250 in cash... He's crazy. I will take J.B. off your hands. We won't pay it. We'll just go and leave the little monster here. I'm afraid he's thought of that, William. It says, for your information, I am the sheriff of this county. Oh, no. And there is only one road out of where you are now. What do we do? If my proposition interests you, gentlemen, I suggest that you bring J.B. back after dark, as otherwise the neighbors who have been celebrating his loss may do you a harm. Signed, Ebenezer Dorset. Have you ever heard of such rustic, uh, unmitigated impudence? I think his father's a spendthrift to make such a liberal offer. After all, what's $250? $250? William, that's every penny we have. Slick, I beg you. I urge you, I implore you. It's only money. Please pay it. All right, William, if you insist. But uh, to return, J.B., you have to catch him first. Now, That's I right. suggest... Shh. Here he comes. Good evening, J.B. Hi, Slick. You didn't get the money, did you? I sure did. I've got it right in here. You mean my father paid you? He certainly did. Let's see. It's right in here. Just look right in there. There you are. Now, don't move, J.B. You'll get hurt. I've got you, J.B. Ow! Ooh. I give up. I give up. Okay. Here, William. For me? Thank you, J.B. William, I've changed my mind about you. You have? That's nice. I still don't like you, but now I think you do. What? That stuff you hold. You mean these flowers you gave me? Part of it's flowers, but the rest of it's poison ivy. Poison ivy? Why, you... William, just wait. one, No, please. William, I forget it. William, I put... William, no, William, control yourself. 120, 225, 230, Paul, I don't want to stay here. I want to go away, though. Oh. Twist his arm, Ebenezer. I'll be good. I'll be good. 235, 240, 245. Y'all better take another look, mister. That last $5 bill is a one. 
please, Slick. Say, you're right, madam. Thank you for correcting me. 245 There we are. $250. Have you folks thought of investing this cash in a good, safe property? Please, Slick. How far is it to the state line? It ain't far. You think you can hold them? Well, I ain't as strong as I used to be, but I think I can promise you at least 10 minutes. We'd be very grateful. Goodbye, J.B. Goodbye, J.B. Goodbye, Slick. Goodbye, Willie. I hope I see you again. There's only a bare chance, J.B. Don't count on it. You got a gold mine in that, boy. Is anybody coming? Not a sign. But don't slow down. Outwitted by a mere child. You have no brains and I have no courage. An unbeatable combination. Slick, what do we do now? Get out those little Bonanza gold mine certificates. I wouldn't have the nerve to sell that phony stock now. Pull yourself together, William. What is a confidence man without confidence? 